third day this week. It is 7.15. Thank God I got up this morning and did my meditation because I had a feeling they were going to be here because they told the officer yesterday, we'll see you tomorrow. So here it goes. Oh, I got to pick up this other paper. So 7.15, this is the third day in a row. Today is August 7th, coming out of my door. So this is two guys. So two guys on Wednesday. Two women on Thursday and today's Friday. August 7th. 7.15, maybe 7.16 now. Yep, it's two guys. So he's there at the West End again. And they're working with all of us. So this is the third time this week. We never know when they come out. They two guys I'll try to make it better. Two guys. Again, this is the area. All of these apartment buildings. Could walk down so you guys can see how far it is. I'm actually getting ready to go. Try to work out this morning since I got had to get up early before I get started working. So, let's see how far this goes. So I'm at the second building. You can still hear them. So all those people that live up there and that are sleeping or trying to get their day going, this is coming into their home. Same thing over here. You can still hear them. That's one, two, three. Four. So I'm just walking east of my apartment. Four. There are people that live here. There are cars. A car covered up. So this is what we've been dealing with for over a year. Three times a week. In fact, they've been doing it for more than a year. But I think it's gotten worse since the past year. This is what we're dealing with. So let me make it smaller. So I'm not going to walk all the way down here, but you can still hear them. There's the La Quinta Inn to give you an idea of where we're at. So we're right along Century, that's um, Holiday Inn. So even down here, I don't know if that last group can hear. Some of them signed the petition that we sent over to Debbie Diner Harris, who works for Councilman. Mike Bonin, and she gave it to an intern, and then someone else up under her. Because this is a political situation. This has to do with political. So now I'm walking back. I actually live in the front of my building, but it comes, I sleep with my window open, so I like to get air, and it comes directly into my um, room. A lot of times when I'm meditating for sleep, this morning I didn't meditate early. I got up earlier and I didn't want to my meditation and my peace and my First Amendment right to practice my religion to be interrupted but I have no First Amendment rights according to the Los Angeles politicians and the city attorney even though I was born in Los Angeles and feel like now I'm an unfortunate citizen of LA and of California and of this country because they're not protecting my rights